and the mask thing had to end. It had to end because I follow science. I follow science, but the science started to not make sense. The science became fiction. You guys notice that? Where was the last place you needed the mask in Arizona? The airport. You had to go in the airport, put your mask on. It didn't make sense because when you entered the airport, you needed the mask until you got to the TSA agent. You had to take it down, prove it's you. Now he's like, all right, put it back on. Okay, put it back. Now you got to get on the plane, socially distance. That's science, socially distance until you sit down on the plane, shoulder to shoulder with the other people. But you still have your mask, everything's okay, right? Until the pretzels arrive. <laughs> right? As soon as the pretzels came, everybody lost their mind. Take the mask, now we're eating the pretzels. You eat the pretzels, mm -hmm. this is great, you don't need the mask with the pretzels, you know? That was the science. COVID took a pretzel break, yeah. When the pretzel came, everyone took it out. Oh my God, it's like old times. This is so cool. Great. A little bag of magic pretzels. You get six of them. Once you finish the last one, put your mask back on. Science. Oh my God. Sorry. Okay. All right. I saw one dude coming from Florida all the way to California, licking each pretzel individually. He made his pretzels last. He did. He wasn't just eating the pretzel. He was. Flight attendant, sir, put your mouth. I'm still eating this one. I'm not done with it. His last one, he's getting in there. He had to make it last. I'm like, he must be from Arizona. This guy's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I said, I'm going to do that on my flight. That's amazing. On my flight, I'm going to do the pretzel trick. I'm going to use the pretzel loophole. On my flight, they gave me pretzel sticks. Ruined my plan. I was ready to lick the pretzel. Here I am in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, put your mouth. I'm still sucking this one. <laughs> I sucked a little pretzel for six hours. I was like, thank God we're not going to San Francisco. I would have had three phone numbers. Call me when we land. That was really good. Cool. <laughs>